Dr. Vargas, thank you very much for uh, accepting uh, to this interview uh, doing with the IEM Education Project. And uh, could you please introduce yourself for our audience? Thank you very much for this invitation. Uh, <coughs> and first, congratulations for this big project. International Emergency Medicine Project is a great uh, experience for all the students, uh, English speaker, uh, probably to Spanish speaker. Uh, my name is Luis Vargas. I am emergency physician from Bogota, Colombia, um, from the Universidad del Rosario. I am the first promotion of emergency physician in my city, uh, second program in the country. So be so difficult to begin in because the, to be the first with the group of the first, it could be difficult because all the people don't understand what is emergency medicine. The people don't hear before about this and you have to change the vision you have to change the situation in many emergency departments and in many services. For example, for the students, probably many of the students don't have the training or don't have the, the chiefs, ground chiefs in emergency department in, in, the, in the study. And the idea is to, the students and the emergency physician have to acquire so different acknowledgements and different competencies no, only in reanimation. Okay, this is very important. I, I am faculty. I teach ETLS, ACLS, so airway, ultrasound, some of this. But my last conference in in this uh, event is about the overcrowding in the emergency service, because we have a big problem probably around the world, and the crowding, and overcrowding is a big problem for all the people for the patients, for the people who work in the emergency department, uh, physicians, nurse, administrative, all. Because the overcrowding, and probably for most of the student, is a new word, and it's a new problem. Yeah, that's not a disease, that's not a medication, that's not a diagnostic uh, test, but it's a reality in all the, in the experience of all days or from whatever and whenever in emergency department. It's a emergency department service with many patients, with many people to give attention, but you don't have never, never, the big and infinite number of beds to give the attention to all the people. And you have to choose with so different tools. For example, you have to learn about triage. The triage is the topic to decide with is the critical patient triage room, what is the low severity patient. And of this triage depend this the surviving of the patient. You have to learn about uh, leadership because probably you have to learn about the uh, emotional intelligence because you have to talk with all your partners, with the nurses, with the patients, because it's a uh, work of teamwork. Another is to check the flows in your department. What is the problem? What is the bottleneck? When do you have to put a, to make change in your department? Could be in the input, could be in the throughput, in the process of attention, could be at the output, the resolution, could be in the number of patients waiting for surgery, uh, about the number of patients waiting for beds, the internal medicine floor. Many problems that you have to begin to learn because when you finish to study medicine, if you are a student, when do you finish to study emergency medicine, if you are an emergency medicine resident, you have to manage this problem in the emergency department. Could be like a chief of the department, could be like a, the boss of the round shift, or could be only that the physician in this service, but it's a, competence that you have to learn and you have to make very good. Thank you very much. Thank of course, much. no problem. Thank you.